Just how do you start up a .com website? The process seems really complicated to some, so in this video we're going to be taking that process and splitting it up into different categories to try to simplify it. So this video is going to be split up into three parts and hopefully by the end of these three videos you'll have a better grasp on how to make a website and ultimately put it on the web. So the simple answer to the question that you guys are all asking is you buy it. You could head over to a website like godaddy.com and purchase a domain name for about 12 bucks a year. But it doesn't end there. Just what is a domain name exactly? What is all this hosting nonsense that's written everywhere? And how do you go about actually making your website to put it online? And also, how do you get all of that for free? Stay tuned and we'll be answering all of those questions in detail. So just how do you get a domain name and a hosting account for free? Well, to start with, just keep in mind that you won't be getting all the perks of a paid service using these free services. But if it's your first website and you're just using it to try to test out the waters, this is perfect for you. As I previously said, you won't be able to get a .com domain name for free by any legal means. But there are plenty of other domain names like a .co.nr domain name that you could actually register for with no money. You could use websites like freedomain.co.nr to accomplish this. Then you could head over to other websites like freewebs.com, 000webhost.com, or even x10hosting.com for a free hosting account. Also, in fact, some of these websites like freewebs.com will provide you with a free domain name to go with their free hosting. But it'll look something like yourwebsite.freewebs.com. So if you want to get rid of any third-party websites in your domain name, your best bet is going to be signing up for a free domain name somewhere else. Keep in mind that you could always just link the two together. Also keep in mind that these free services will obviously come with a lot of restrictions, like less bandwidth space and less website space. So when you're ready to upgrade, most of these websites already have plans ready for you to pay for, so you could go up to a premium service. So now that you finally have your domain name and your hosting account set up, how do you go about actually making the website? For the answer to this question, check out the last part, part 3 of this video series. Thank you guys for watching so far and I'll see you in the next video.